This is the prototype, the original Lycan Hypersport. Apparently I have to worry about on this road. One, blowing sand. Oh, what's up people? We are at W Motors in Dubai for a very fun day. So I'm going to do videos on all of the vehicles, but today we're going to get out the original Lycan Hypersport prototype over there in white. <laughs> yes and the blue Fenrir Super Sport there. I'm really excited, but we're gonna take them over uh, and drive them. I'm gonna get an opportunity to get a feel for how to drive them. So we're gonna showcase that, do some beauty shots because we're gonna have even more high performance driving coming up real soon. But come on over here um, and you guys see, here's the stunt car, very similar to the one Genius Garage is doing, but uh, come on over, let's see them. Now, today I'm really excited about this. Um, it's gonna be fun and massively a huge honor. Obviously, let, let's be real here. Both these cars are very nice and very valuable. This is the prototype, the original Lycan Hypersport. The ones that weren't prototypes sold for $3.4 million. Yes, and this is the prototype. The last one they have, it's perfect. So I don't want to break it, but we wanna have fun. Now, there's a, there's a saying in America that if you go out to dinner and you forget your wallet and you can't pay for dinner, they'll make you wash dishes to pay for it. So I'm gonna try not to break it because I would probably end up washing dishes in the Middle East until they run out of oil. <laughs> yeah, so we're not gonna do that, but it's gonna be incredibly fun and a huge honor. So there are two things apparently I have to worry about on this road. One, blowing sand and two, camels. Yeah, apparently they're walking around. So we don't wanna hit any camels. Not actually a joke, reality. Uh, here we go, I don't wanna wash dishes. And I'm riding in the Lycan. That's crazy. Cold start. Yes. I've never heard this run. If I push the release, if I if you push the push the release and push it forward, you're going to reverse. 
Okay, and then and if you pull it, you'll, in, you go, that's good. Yeah. Got you're it. on handbrake there as well. So just gently feed out the clutch. You'll get a feel for it, but the mm -hmm. first time, just feel it. Twin disc. The ECU is programmed to work with it, okay. but it just means you need to be a bit slower with the release. You don't need to give it gas. It will work with it. Um, is the, are the temperature oil pressure? Temperatures are okay, so okay. There, everything's fine. Okay. Uh, not to get too much personal information, but being out here makes me realize I should have brought a stronger deodorant. <laughs> It's winter. I brought, this, I brought, is this is as cold as it gets out I, here. I know, I know. I brought deodorant for Ohio in the winter. This, Bad mistake. This, this is as cold as it gets out here. Like, no, this is very nice, actually. So you'll, you'll it do it once, well. once you get a feel for it. Basically, what you need to remember is turbo now. Correct. A lot of it. When it comes in, is there any traction control controls at traction all? Traction control's there, so it will hold you. If you're anything that isn't first gear, you've got no problems. Okay. But it's just, you, you might get surprised by it when it does come in.
Alright you guys, that was the first night just getting used to driving the Lycan Hypersport 
and the Fenrir, which is surreal for me to just say, but I can't tell you how cool that experience was. First of all, that's my first time here now being in Dubai and kind of getting out to the desert. It's a really cool developed area where people go out and take pictures and hang out, kind of just normal car guy fun. So, you know, if you guys are all getting together in America, finding some uh, mall or grocery store at night just for car meets and whatnot, that's, that's what you do here. And it was really cool. Uh, it was also kind of fun to roll in and see somebody in a Ford GT and somebody in a Huracan and be like, <laughs> you're not as cool as you thought you were. But um, that's car guy fun. Um, it was just so cool. Uh, obviously for me, being from another part of the world and cruising um, and the way the sand comes up from the tires, the sand that's just inherently in the, uh, the pavement. And as you go by, actually it's, it's really just like snow except it's not cold. So it's kind of like driving in the snow and, and then the snow slash sand drifts and you got to watch out for that. But um, it was uh, really nice. So we get the opportunity to just kind of get used to the cars, do some beautiful shots. Um, the Lycan was amazing to drive. I really mean that from coming from being a guy that loves vintage racing and big, raw, like rugged, nasty cars. Um, this was exciting for me because it's got three pedals and a sequential shifter which directly goes into the gearbox. And it's a sequential synchro mesh gearbox with three pedals. So, you know, I actually have to, I mean, you actually have to use a clutch. You have to drive it. It's a, this car, the way it is configured, the prototype is in fact manual. It's just sequential, it's shifting. And it was also kind of cool because, um, you know, you toe heel downshift it. I'm braking and go whoom, whoom, like that for the downshift, but it's sequential. So it's a configuration that I actually haven't run. I've run sequential with the dog box, um, where you don't use the clutch on the upshift and the downshift. But so this was a, a cool, um, it's a cool new thing for me. So long story short, guys, this, this is a three pedal car and it's fast and it's raw and it's awesome. And it, it just wants to go. It's an awesome platform. I enjoyed being in it. It was the prototype. Um, and so like every once in a while I click in my head, I'm like, what am I doing? I'm like, wait, I'm where? Driving what? holy mackerel you know and uh but it was really just awesome and then i mean we're rolling into it whop, whop, whop. and uh, just listening to the sounds of the exhaust the engine the turbo creating the boost and uh it, it moves it's a fast car uh, a genuinely fast car awesome and the fenrir i wasn't driving the fenrir when we were out um, out in the desert like that for it. So I didn't get as much seat time here. I was really driving the Lycan, which I really just so genuinely enjoyed and it just meant so much. So the uh, Fenrir, uh, I drove this home on the street and I was genuinely, instantly in love, enamored. Um, and this is the best way I can tell you. Um, obviously this is an incredible hypercar. So, you know, when you get into something new, you have to relate, relate it to something. Um, and first of all, neither one of these cars are like anything I've ever driven. And each one of these cars has a completely different personality, completely different. So for the people who bought a Lycan, they're going to have to get a Fenrir too, honestly. But the Fenrir is like no other supercar or hypercar I've driven. But it had so many qualities that I loved that were the best qualities of a lot of cars I loved. And I'm going to start kind of small in a way. Um, believe it or not, a Lotus Exige I love because it's simple and you can see out of it and it's a perfect race car in that right. But a Lotus Exige is it's a cheap car and it doesn't make any power. <laughs> so, there, but that is a great quality. It feels like a proper race car laid out well, simple. It's, it's delicate and precise. And that was the first thing that struck me about the Fenrir. But the next thing that struck me about the Fenrir is it's big and awesome and exotic and makes a lot of power. And the sound the Fenrir makes I, I don't know what all they've done with the exhaust yet. I hear it's in canal, but th they nailed the exhaust note, like in every way, shape and form, not just the turbo sounds, but the exhaust note sounds amazing. And it's, it's got layers and levels to the sound quality. And I didn't find anything bad about it. It was literally one of the most interesting and cool and like you just stand your hair up exhaust notes I've heard. And obviously flat six derives, but guys, well, they really nailed that. Um, so I was, I was just really excited. And this one, of course, has a, a dual clutch and is paddle shifted. Um, so it makes it more sophisticated in that right. And this car, I can tell you, this thing reminds me of the most exotic, like avant-garde, expensive, like Can-Am race car. Just, oh yeah, on the street, like just, just rugged and raw and amazing. The Fenrir, such a sophisticated track car. 
and I say track car because we're going to take it there. And I can't wait because it's awesome. But it was an absolute joy to drive on the street back here. Um, I got a little excited. We got on the highway and um, my uh, feeling for American roads kicked in and I'm like, I'll pass this guy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And he's like, hold on. <laughs> There's speed cameras here every kilometer. I was like, ah. So I looked at Gareth and I'm like, wait, how do you have any fun here? And he gave me some tips, which I won't share. <laughs> but um, I would, uh, this is just such a wonderful car. It'd be amazing to drive on the road, on the track, anywhere. Um, and frankly, I, I would much rather have this over any new Lamborghini or Ferrari. It's got more personality, character, it's rarer, um, and it's frankly just more interesting. So, and that was just first night, first night guys. I should end this video because I'm coming back with more. Subscribe. See you guys next time. What? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a kit car. Yeah. Your Volkswagen. Since 2013, the Genius Garage educational programs have been responsible for launching the careers of young engineers, mechanics, and fabricators. So this holiday season, consider checking out Genius Garage and its website, geniusgarageracing.com, and making a donation. Whether it's small or large, what we do together is how we shape a better future for everyone. Thanks for watching.